From rising temperatures to strong typhoons, we are vulnerable to the serious impacts of climate change. Our development achievements have also been affected by the climate crisis, and it further aggravates existing development issues. Local government units, being at the front line of climate action, must develop local solutions to these changing local conditions by investing in climate change adaptation and mitigation measures through climate responsive programs. To deliver this crucial task, LGUs must know how to stay on track. Introducing a Guide to Local Climate Change Expenditure Tagging or LCCET. Climate change expenditure tagging is the process of identifying, prioritizing, and assigning codes to climate change programs, projects, and activities, or PPAs, during the preparation of the annual investment program. It is essential that you take stock, track, and report these climate expenditures and PPAs in the local budget, aligning with the National Climate Change Action Plan. This process is done both at the national and local levels to ensure that all climate-related PAPs are tagged. The Department of Budget and Management, the Climate Change Commission, and the Department of the Interior and Local Government institutionalized CCET through the Joint Memorandum Circular Number 2015 -01. These three agencies have big roles and responsibilities in the climate mainstreaming process from planning and budgeting to the tagging process. The CCET is broadly comprised of four main stages. First, in establishing the climate change rationale, the Climate Change and Disaster Risk Assessment, or CEDRA, establishes the adaptation rationale while the Greenhouse Gas Inventory, or GHGI, establishes the climate mitigation rationale. In CEDRA, the Climate and Disaster Risk Assessment prepares information on the future impacts of climate change to the planning area, while the GHG Inventory explains the sectoral greenhouse gas emissions. Their summary serves as your basis when brainstorming the adaptation and mitigation strategies in the next stage. Second, if there's anything that's key in the local CCET, it is determining the strategies for climate change adaptation and mitigation. When thinking about adaptation, you must ask this question. What social and natural systems need adjustment and additional action to address the calculated risks to the area? For example, installation of early warning systems, building flood defenses, building climate change resistant crops, and redesigning systems and policies to incorporate resilience building. On the other hand, for mitigation, LGUs can intervene in order to reduce or avoid greenhouse gas emissions. The goal for mitigation is to prevent the planet from warming even more. Think about solar and mass public transport, solid waste management or wastewater control, and increasing carbon sinks such as forests. These are mitigation strategies that local government units may prioritize. At this stage, the local greenhouse gas inventory is considered for both adaptation and mitigation strategies. For both adaptation and mitigation strategies, CCET typologies may also be used as references for the purpose of identifying climate-responsive PPAs. The CCET typologies comprise of alphanumeric characters to characterize your PPA as 1. Adaptation or Mitigation, 2. Alignment to the Strategic Priorities of the National Climate Change Action Plan, and 3 mode of delivery. The typologies are helpful in the third stage, tagging prioritized climate change adaptation and mitigation PPAs in the annual investment program form. With 14 important columns, the AIP form is the primary instrument for implementing climate change related plans. It is crucial to double check all the information in this form, including typos, alignment of rows and columns, 
and the total, as any errors may cause a domino effect. From the AIP form, charts and data are automatically generated with a CCET analysis tool. From here, the AIP budget brief of climate investments can be processed, which can be useful in informing our constituents and partners of our climate actions. After all these, quality assurance follows to ensure the quality of climate tag PPAs in the prepared AIP. For the last stage, transmit a soft copy of the spreadsheet format of all of these to the Climate Change Commission through the CCET Help Desk. It is good to note that all this budget operation takes place from June to October. The CCET Help Desk will provide the necessary advisory, assistance, and feedback for the enhancement of the tagging output. Now that you know your impact in addressing climate change even at a local level, maximize your capabilities and help our country fight climate change. Thank you for tagging along.